It's been over six years since I adopted healthier habits in my life. And let me tell you, when I got started, there were plenty of barriers. But I soon learned that the benefits outweighed the barriers. Now, many may think I've got it all figured out, and I'm here to tell you that that could not be farther from the truth. As life and seasons change, I encounter brand new barriers, and I have to revisit those benefits. Lifestyle changes are never going to be a complete cakewalk. Sorry to use the word cake. But as you make these changes in your life, you're continually going to have to revisit the barriers and the benefits. So how about we problem solve a way to do that? So when I suggest exercise a minimum of 30 minutes a day, five days a week, and adopt a diet that is primarily made up of fruits and vegetables, what's your initial response? Well, if your initial response is that you can't even possibly dream of adopting those habits, it's going to be a little bit more difficult for you to make a long-lasting lifestyle change. You're going to have to be really, really diligent about fighting for it. So today, we're gonna look at a strategy to help you problem solve more effectively and see how you can make those changes and hang on to them for a lifetime. Let's start with a positive exercise. Identify 10 benefits for changing your lifestyle. Those could be improved weight control, getting stronger, having more energy, a lower risk of disease, or even better emotional health. Get selfish and ask yourself, what's in it for me? Identify 10 barriers that will fight to keep you from changing your lifestyle. These could be time or self-management, work environment, your current diet, your social circle, or maybe even a pattern of negative thinking. Let's use a simple strategy called IDEA for problem solving the barriers and discovering the benefits, and we'll use examples from my own life to do so. I, identify the barrier. So what are your personal barriers? Be specific, name them, own them. Are they exercise related, nutrition related? What specific thoughts and actions seem to get in the way of eating healthy foods and exercising? My husband's schedule is completely ridiculous right now while he pursues a second degree and an entirely new career. And this has really changed the schedule of our family. He's no longer available to pick up kids from school or make dinner or run errands. Our schedule is a lot tighter. And what does that mean? That means that it could possibly affect when we work out and even if we get dinner on the table, right? You done? Sorry. D. Develop a list of possible solutions. So next to each barrier, make a list of all the possible solutions. Ask a friend or a coach for help if you need it. Don't limit or judge whether the solution is good or bad, just brain dump. Develop the longest list of solutions you can in 10 minutes. My solutions? Well, I could exercise at home to save time and money. I can plan meals using my slow cooker or this awesome pressure cooker. And I could get those workouts done in the morning since evenings are crazy. E, evaluate your solutions. Now it's time to get realistic. Select one solution for each barrier that you would be willing to try. You're going to have to experiment. Realize that you may not get it right the first time. I chose to test out the solution of working out at home. I also started to gather recipes that could be made in one pot, and I decided to try the solution of exercising at 7.30 a.m. A, analyze how well your plan worked. It's time to assess whether the solution worked. Note, it may not work the first time. You may have to revise it by making a few minor changes or picking a different solution, but please don't skip this crucial step. If you don't analyze whether something works and then revise it, you risk wandering in a circle with no goals being met. And soon after, when we fail to see progress or success, we quit. So how has this pressure cooker or the slow cooker worked out? Wonderfully. We're no longer flying by the seat of our pants to get a healthy meal on the table every evening. 
And as for exercise, unless I'm teaching a class in the morning, I'm up in my gym working out by 7.30 a.m. Listen, barriers will always occur. Life will always get in the way. We can't wait for life to change or for life to be less crazy or for life to slow down. Instead, we need to adopt some problem-solving skills so that we can overcome the barriers and claim the benefits. Find solutions to the barriers and glean the benefits for the health of it.